Well, you know it's winter when. All right, everybody, I came out to check my greenhouse this morning and kind of something of a tragedy. I'll just, I'll show you. That's not a happy sight. So when I came out here and do my squishy greenhouse this morning, this was almost completely empty and my poor little fish was sitting around, well, swimming around, obviously, on its side, trying to keep itself into the water. So a brief rundown of what happened was, this tank ended up freezing in the drain, which stopped the water motion in this tank, so this did end up freezing. Okay, so you with me so far? Pump's still going? Still filling up here, so it started to fill and fill and fill and flood. That's where it was all leaking out from. You can tell where the lowest point in the greenhouse is. Guess that's the upside. So since I have no intention of turning this off, I just have to bite the bullet and go out and get some uh, serious fish tank heaters today, which is going to suck because that's going to be more power used than I wanted to use in this aquaponic garden. <sighs> oh well. You know, looking at it from the hobby perspective, it's still pretty cheap compared to those RCs. It's, uh, <laughs> well, it's cheap compared to lots of hobbies. I'm not necessarily going to get a whole lot of produce out of here this winter because it's winter. But, uh, you know, if I look at it as the cost of keeping my pets alive and happy, then I don't really care how much produce I'm going to get out of here. So I'm going to take off to the store, go get myself some uh, submersible fish tank heaters, and uh, we'll pick up this camera again once I get back and, well, just see how they look and where I end up putting them. All right, so for the first part of this plan, I've taken my 50 watt heater back out of the no power aquaponic garden and I'm putting it back into the settlement tank. Can't really see it down there with reflection and all, but there it is. For the second part of the plan, just got back from the store where we picked up this 250 watt aquarium heater. Made in Germany, three year warranty. I like the three year warranty part. Cost a little bit more than I was hoping to spend this morning. But, you know what, the one I was heading out to buy initially at the first shop only has like a six month warranty on it anyway, so that says something about quality. They say you get what you pay for, right? So, 250 watt heater, I'm going to try and put it in this tank here, hopefully right along the inside there, so that uh, it'll prevent any freezing in the pipe, and the water as it circulates around should still warm up fairly well. And the fish shouldn't be able to knock it around too bad because it's already kind of blocked by the pipe and kind of blocked by the barrel. So I don't know. At the same time, I'm kind of, I guess, asking for advice because should I be just dropping it in the middle of the barrel? Would that, would that work better? I don't know. All right, well, if weight is anything to go by, this is already 50 times the heater that I'm used to. And I can see I'm going to need to do something to arrange my plugs a little different, but... That thing is solid weight. Just tuck this somewhere for the moment. Tuck this in. The camera shocks his hand. Thank you, my dear. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh. Uh, let's set the heat to. This is goes all the way from 65 to 93 degrees. I don't think my fish really need anything more than, I'll give them 69. They're goldfish. <laughs> Let them have a little fun. Oh, that's cold. That's like super cold. <laughs> Yuck. No wonder the fish hate me so much. They don't hate me. They ain't happy right now. That's for sure. I just don't want to get my sleeve wet, you know? Oh. Get 
getting a clip. Getting a clip. Alright. It's tucked away behind the pipe so it's nice and safe. Below the water level. And in theory, to adjust the temperature, I should only have to freeze my hand. But also, in theory, I shouldn't have to freeze anymore. So this is a 250 watt heater. It says it's good for 159 US gallons. I think I'm running somewhere in the vicinity of 120 in this whole system. And we are gonna leave the 50 watt heater in the swirl filter as, or settlement tanker in the blue bin. Um, just as kind of a backup extra heat source. So I'm gonna towel off, step up, and plug this in. We'll get right back to you. All right, so that's plugged in. It's gonna start heating things up a little bit now. As you can tell, it's definitely time for me to rearrange my cords. Probably not the best place for the air pump at the moment either, but it had to go somewhere. We talked about it, and I think the decision is we're gonna pull these fish completely out of this tote and move them into the regular aquaponic system for the winter because after all they are pets and uh, it just seems like the nicer thing to do well as always my camera's flashing at me that my battery is dying so I am going to put my camera away, put my jacket back on move the air pump and uh, keep working away in here I'll edit this up later and hopefully have it up tonight thanks for watching everybody have yourselves a fantastic day <laughs>